Okay, Dangri stroke bib overall part two. Hi everyone, in today's video, as per this request, we are still continuing with our part two of bib overall upper bodies pattern drafting. Just watch this video up to the end. I started with the drafting of the lower bodies, which was the pant stroke, the trother. Now, we are going to use this trother pattern to develop our bib overall stroke dangry upper bodies. In case you haven't watched bib overall pant pattern drafting in part 1, here is the video on the right upper corner of your screen. Also, I have put its link in the description box down below. Go click and watch it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let us get started. I get my new pattern paper, then I lay extendedly the front pant block like this. After I secure it with it, I secure it by taping so that it doesn't move and disturb when I start working on the dangry upper bodies. So I'm done with the layout. Next is to work on the top. First, I extend straight this line perpendicular to the hip line. Then I come to this point. I mark upwards waist to the neck. My client's waist to the neck is 15 inches. So I mark 15 inches here. After I draw a perpendicular line like this. Then I go ahead and insert neck measurements. From this point, I measure inwards chest 35.5 inches divided by 12 giving me 2.75 inches. I mark 2.7 inches here. Still, at this point, I measure inwards, shoulder to shoulder measurements, 13.75 inches divided by two, giving me 6.875. So I mark 6.875 inches here. Then at this point, I drop my shoulders by 1.5 inches. After I connect this shoulder drop point to this neck point in this way. Next, I come to the neckline guide. I measure downwards chest 35.5 inches divided by 4, giving me 8.125 inches. At this 8.125 inch point, I mark 1 inch upwards. Then I draw a perpendicular line. At this point, I mark inwards bib overall front with this 4 inches. I come to the pant waistline, I mark inwards. 0.75 inches then i connect this point to this point in this way to create bib overall side seam line next is to insert bib front pocket at this point i mark downwards two inches at this two inch point i mark across pocket width three inches I square up a straight line, then I mark pocket height 4.5 inches. Next is to insert bib overall waistband. I come to the trouser waistline, I mark downwards 1.5 inches for the dangry waistband. Next is to insert bib side pocket to the bottom. 
From this side seam line, I measure inwards 3 inches. Then I connect this point to this hip line point to create side pocket opening. Next is to work on the pocket height. At the thigh line, I mark upwards 1 inch. I create hip pocket shape in this way. We are done with the pocket. Next is to mark out the shape of the fly. At this point, I mark inwards 1.25 inches fly with this. At this hip line, I mark upwards 1 inch. After, I create fly shape in this way. Next is to mark out the position of side button holes. From the side seam line, I mark inwards 0 0.75 inches, the position of the first button hole. From the first button hole to the second button hole, I mark 2 inches. Third button hole, 2 inches. Fourth button hole, 2 inches. I'm done with determining the position of a dangry button holes. Next is to mark the position of bib overall loop. At this point, I mark 0 0.5 inches down. Then, I create my loop position in this way. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost getting done with the front. The last step is to mark out the front strap. For the strap, I come to the shoulder slant line. I mark 1.5 inches inwards. Then I connect this to this in this way. At the shoulders, I mark 1.75 inches for strap width. At this point, I mark strap width 1.25 inches. After, I connect this 1.75 inch point to this 1.25 inch point in to create a complete front strap shape. You can make this front strap long so that it can be adjustable. Okay. We are done with the front dangry stroke bib overall pattern drafting. Next is to trim off our front dangry. Okay, my people, the front is ready and this is how it appears. You can go ahead and trace out separately the strap, the front pocket, loops, side pocket, and the fly. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed the front drafting episode, please give this video a thumbs up, share, and comment on anything that I have left out or you wish to add on. I would wish to read all your comments and give you back the replies. Okay. Okay. We continue to work on the bib back pattern. For the back, I get my new pattern paper. Then I lay it extendedly to the back pattern block. After I secure it by taping so that it doesn't move and disturb. I'm done with the back layout. Next is to work on the back dangry upper bodies. First, I extend this line perpendicular to the hip line. Then I blend it to the back crotch rise in this way. After 
I come to this point, I mark upwards neck to waist 15 inches. I draw a perpendicular straight guideline. I now insert the neck to this line. From this center back line, I measure inwards chest 35.5 inches divided by 12, giving me 2.7 inches. Still, from this center back line, I measure inwards shoulder to shoulder 13.75 inches. I divide by 2, giving me 6.875. Then, at this point, I drop my shoulders by 0 0.5 inches. After, I connect this point to this point in this way to create shoulder slant line. Next is to determine the bib overall height. At this point, I mark upwards 6 inches. I draw a perpendicular line. I mark 2.5 inches bib width. After, I connect it to the trother waistline to create bib overall side seam line. Next is to work on the back strap. At the shoulder drop line, I mark inwards 1.5 inches. Then from this 1.5 inch point, I mark 1.75 inches for strap with this. Or you can trace out the shoulder strap of the front pattern. At the bottom, I mark inwards 2 inches for strap width. After, I create my strap seam line like this. You can go ahead and give it a designer shape in this way. Next is to mark out the back waistband. From the original trouser waistline, I mark downwards 3 inches here, also 3 inches here. After, I square across a straight waistband line. Next is to insert the back pocket. I measure this distance, I divide by 2 to get the midpoint. Then at this midpoint, I mark this side 2.75 inches pocket width. Also this side, I mark 2.75 inches pocket width. I mark pocket height 6.75 inches here. After, I create my pocket shape like this. I insert loop position here. Also at the center back, I insert loop position. Next is to work on the dangri button position on the back side. At the hip line, I mark out button holder extension. Also at the waistline, I mark out button holder extension. I bring the front pattern, I trace out the button hole position in this way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the bib overall back pattern drafting. Next is to trim out our back pattern like this. So here is our complete back pattern. So ladies and gentlemen, that's what I had for you as for today as far as the dangri or bib overall pattern drafting is concerned. 
Thank you so much for watching all the way from where we began. I hope you can make yours keep practicing, 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 not until you become perfect. You know, always we believe in practice makes perfect. So guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye. I sign out. Shalom. God bless you all.